everybody, T.O. from Art Geek Teaching. Today we're going to do an ink aid transfer. And so this is the test canvas that I did the other day. And um, I primed it, then I coated it, uh, or, or excuse me, transferred some foil to it, some decorative foil. And I made my ink aid transfer on the transfer sheet. I have my ink aid um, transferees product, which is this. I mixed it up yesterday. It is four ounces for one tablespoon. And so now all I'm going to do is coat my substrate. And this is the test, which is why I'm using the tape on it. I want to make sure that it does not peel up my foil. So we're just going to put it on. The other thing I have here, um, I don't have my little electronic timer, so I'm just going to use a little egg timer, and we want three minutes from when we put our transfer down on the substrate. So first, though, I'm going to go ahead and just coat. That's the other thing. We'll see what happens when we coat this. Hmm. I don't know what that is. It might be reacting with the... Or, I have a dirty brush. I got a new brush, I thought. Yeah, I think it's pulling up the... Yeah, it is. It's pulling up the product. It's probably the alcohol in there, but we'll see. We're going to go ahead and move on with the test. This is why I'm doing a test instead of just doing the big one. Wow. Yeah, it's definitely pulling up the foil. All right, we'll see what happens. Three minutes we want this thing down. Interesting. I don't think it's going to work because of the... Um, gosh darn it. Because of the color. Got to be careful rolling these. I didn't put a lot of material down. Oh, poop. See, if you roll them too hard, a lot of times it'll, it'll go through and destroy. This is a soft roller. A lot of times I can use a, uh, well, let me just go get one. A lot of times uh, a roller works just fine. I'm going to have to do another test with this stuff probably because I don't know that I like the, I don't know, we'll see. All right, I'm just going to wait now. I'm going to try a different brush on the other one. All right, that tells me it has been three minutes. So we are just going to roll this up from the bottom. And it's a nice transfer. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is come up with something. I'm going to let that dry. But what I have to do is come up with something on the tape. That's going to be a problem. I don't want to leave that line on there. So it just, it gives it a tint. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a decent transfer. Got a few little bubbles in there. Even where it looks like it peeled up that, I'm not sure if that's a dirty brush or, 
I'm going to use a totally different brush. I can't tell if it's pulling up the stuff or if the brush is just dirty. So I'm going to get a, another brand new brush. I'm going to let this dry and decide if I'm going to move ahead with the project like it is or make some changes. Okay. Onward and upward with some more testing. I've got my uh, little Micron pin here. We'll see if it'll take it okay. Um, oh, it does. It's kind of sticky. Yeah, you can't flow on it for sure. Hmm, a little too thin. So, let's try some alcohol inks. I'm assuming that the alcohol is going to give us a fit. Okay, that's going to be okay. So we can do some embellishments with that. Goodness, get that back together. My. I'm kind of surprised that the alcohol didn't change anything. That's kind of nice. All right, so we'll be able to play with our alcohol inks on the big one. No problem. I and mean, I don't know how much I'm going to want to do um, because we'll be able to... Oh, that really changed that. Because we'll be able to... Uh, gosh... That's interesting. Um, because we'll be able to do a lot of it in the, the resin. So, um, wow, that is... I'm not sure what that is. Why? Let's see if we can fix that. It's that pink underneath it. I'm not exactly sure. I think that's from the alcohol. Hmm. Interesting. Let's put some more of the delusions on there just to see if it wasn't, I don't think it was that, but. Oh, that's fine. I think you're gonna have to be careful with the alcohol. So we'll probably not use alcohol inks on the other one. I mean, the delusion stuff is good. By themselves, I think they're okay. Just if I'm adding alcohol to the image itself. Let's just verify that. God, that bright, kind of ugly. Uh, where's my ink? Let's just see. Saturate it.
Hmm. You know? Seems like it's okay. So I wonder then if I can clean up that. Let's just see. Interesting. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's going to take the... Uh, that's going to take... You could see that that is starting to take the emulsion off of the transfer, which I would... That makes sense. So, there you have it. That's the test. Now we know what we can and cannot do. Okay, on this test, I do want to pour some acrylic, or excuse me, some resin over it. And so I'm going to go ahead and seal it with some varnish. The only thing I have is varnish. So I'm going to just quick seal it. Uh-oh. All right, we got it shaking. If I don't seal it, when we go to uh, put resin on it, this stuff will just run. So you've got to seal that up. Easy pie. Call it good. <laughs> 